Today, we are going to explore Wharton National Park and share with you our family's itinerary during our two-day escape in one of the most beautiful destinations in the Canadian Rockies. Nestled in the far southwest corner of Alberta, Wharton is one of the most distinctive mountain parks in the Canadian Rockies. Wharton gives you a quaint town vibe, plus the surrounding park is filled with diverse wildlife, different wildflowers, and some of the best hiking spots in Canada, and just three hours from the city of Calgary. We headed out early in the morning and left Calgary at 5 o'clock. The drive was mostly prairies, and then we saw wind turbines along the highway, which we thought was cool. It was about 8 a.m. when we reached the park entrance. A park pass is required to explore the national park. Our first stop early in this morning is the Bears Hump Trail. One of the best Wharton hikes is Bear's Hump, which has one of the best views in the park. The short but steep climb up Crandall Mountain takes about an hour, and the reward once you reach the flat top of the hump are panoramic views of the Wharton Valley. We just started along the trail when we got lucky to see a wild deer. It is a short trail, however, very steep and a ton of steps. Amaya and Sky had to take a few stops to catch their breath and had a quick bite to fuel them on our way to the top. Views from the top are spectacular, including the town site, the Wharton Valley and Lakes, south into Glacier National Park, US, and northeast to Prairie Ranch Land. The breeze felt nice once you reached the top. What a perfect day to start the day! The Bears Hump Trail is one of the steepest short hikes climbing 225 meters in 1.4 kilometers. This is about 2 hours hiking back and forth, but with kids in tow, we easily spent 3 hours here, including our stay at the viewpoint of the hump. After the hike, we went to visit the Cameron Falls, which is a roadside waterfalls and is only 5 minutes away from the Bears Hump's trailhead. The Precambrian rock exposed at Cameron Falls is 1.6 billion years old, making it the oldest exposed bedrock in the Alberta Rockies. Locals say that the falls turns pink after a heavy rain. Another great thing is that you can see the beautiful view of the falls right up front so no more hiking required, but there are a couple of viewpoints here to see the falls in a different perspective. The kids continued on with their bonding moments and walked along the pathways here. And for lunch, we stopped in at Zum's Eatery, which is located right at the main street at Wharton Avenue. This classic dining landmark in Wharton Lakes National Park offers a complete menu of favorites, including their great tasting fried chicken. Zums also has a gift shop attached to it, so tourists can get souvenir items from here. At 3 o'clock, we went straight to the hotel to check in. Our accommodation is definitely one of our favorite experiences out of our stay here in Wharton.
the Prince of Wales Hotel opened its doors on July 25, 1927. The hotel stands isolated, overlooking a spectacular vista of mountains, lakes, town, and prairie. Its striking design and dramatic setting make it Wharton's most recognized landmark. The Prince of Wales Hotel was named after the then popular Edward VIII, Prince of Wales. Ironically, no Prince of Wales has ever visited the hotel. The building was designed in a rustic architectural style while also adopts some elements from Swiss chalet style. As a result, the building is primarily made of wood materials for its construction, cladding, and detailing. In 1993, the Prince of Wales' designation as a National Historic Site recognizing its architectural style and its contribution to tourism in the mountains. We stayed at the sixth floor. The room is bigger than what we've expected. We love that the room has a balcony and gave us a panoramic view of the Wharton National Park. If Wharton's most photographed feature is calling your name, Definitely budget for a night or two at the historic and picturesque Prince of Wales Hotel. For us, it was worth the splurge because of the ambience and this balcony view of the lake and the town is superb. After checking in our luggage, we continued on to explore Warrington. Our next activity led us to Emerald Bay as we will board a boat and cruise on the lake. Wharton Shoreline Cruise Company is family-owned and operated cruise which provides guests a unique local perspective on the National Park's rich history, wildlife, and topography. We got our tickets and lined up a few minutes early so we can grab a seat on the open-air top deck of the boat. It's incredibly windy so be mindful of your caps or hats when on board. We were told that it's nearly always windy in Wharton Lakes National Park. In fact, it is the second windiest place in all of Alberta. The lake is haven for all water sports such as wing foiling. The view of two countries on a single boat ride and surrounded by exquisite scenery is such a delight. This is an easy cruise along the shoreline of beautiful Wharton Lake and cross the international border to Goat Hunt, Montana in the U.S. It is a spectacular experience and comes highly recommended. After the cruise, the kids had enough fun for our adventure the whole day. We head back to the hotel to eat our dinner and rest for the night. In the morning, we noticed that the clouds are hanging really low from the view of the balcony. The weather here quickly changes so we checked out at 9am and to further explore. The Town Site the town offers easy access to basic services such as restaurants, local gift shops, liquor store, and accommodations. No town is ever complete without retail. Wharton offers a wide array of boutiques and shops so you can take home some keepsakes from your visit. One of the unique ways to explore the town is using bikes and surreys, which can be rented in Pass Wharton. We strolled along the marina. It is another beautiful walk which is right along the harbor. This walk takes you out to the base of the shoreline which offers the fantastic view of the Emerald Bay and the Prince of Wales Hotel. This area is covered in stones and pebbles and is drawing people to do stone skipping. Amaya and Sky, of course didn't miss their chance to throw little pebbles in the water. These Canada-made Adirondack red chairs are what some visitors always seek as they are always situated in the most scenic place. We found it in this waterside haven. Here you can watch the view of the lake and watch the boats as they go by and leave the harbor. International Peace Park In 1932, 
the United States of America and Canada created the world's first international peace park. This is the meeting place that inspires friendship and respect between nations, among people, and with all of nature. This trail includes interpretive panels providing information and history of the Peace Park. After strolling around the town, we decided to tick off our next activity, Cameron Lake. From Warrington Town site, we took a now interesting drive along the 16-kilometer highway going to Cameron Lake. We've been through this road before and is now looking very different than what we are accustomed to. In September 2017, the Kino wildfire swept through Wharton Lakes National Park. The drive leading up to the lake got us into deep nature conversation, whether it's a friend or a foe. All we know is that Wharton's landscape is evolving and nature is expert at repairing and renewing itself after such disturbances. Cameron Lake Cameron Lake represents a subalpine lake that is one of many bodies of water here in Wharton. Here you can breathe in the fresh, crisp air as you take in the mountainous scenery. Picnic along the shore or rent a paddleboat or kayak for the best experience of the lake. This is one beautiful lake that is framed by surrounding mountain peaks. It is such a beautiful setting Plus, you might get a chance to see some wildlife like bears. Since there is a thunderstorm warning this morning, we hope to take advantage of the fair weather. We went on to the next stop, the Red Rock Canyon. From Cameron Lake, this took us about 40 minutes to reach the canyon. This deep, beautiful canyon is a must-see and is a fantastic place to explore. The Red Rock Canyon is Wharton's star attraction as it offers picturesque trail along the creek with water rushing through the vibrant redstone canyon. This is more of a short walk than a hike. You can watch the view of the canyon from the bridge or you may choose to descend if you want to go for a dip. The walls of this canyon are fragile so it is recommended to use the stairs if you intend to go down the creek. It is awesome to know that when you touch the rocks around here, you've touched the floor of an ancient sea. Our kids enjoy their time here. They were fascinated by the running water, the steps they had to climb, and was overall a wonderful experience. Once you cross the bridge, there are panels providing information of the many hikes available in the area. One of the easy hikes that we initially planned to take is the Blackstone Falls, but since the clouds are showing signs of a downpour, we decided to cut our trip short and ended our adventure here at the Red Rock Canyon. Overall, we enjoyed this eventful weekend with our family and we'll be sure to come back as there is so much more of this part. If you're looking for an incredible place to stay that will allow you to experience all sorts of adventure activities such as hiking, biking, or rafting, along with beautiful accommodations in a peaceful wilderness setting, we'll be sure that Wharton National Park will not disappoint and will surely bring you the memories to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm.